Pan Games in Guadalajara, Mexico, and two Canadians were going head-to-head -head for gold in archery on day number five. Men's individual compound bow, Robert Hudson of Leoville, Saskatchewan, lining up the target. And on his left, Kevin Evans of Jaffrey, BC. A veteran of the 2008 Paralympics, Evans is a two-time defending world champion with wins back in 2007 and 2009. Both archers expertly dealt with the swirling winds over the 70 meter distance between them and the targets. Here's a close up look of how Robert Hudson is getting along. After five sets of three arrows each, the final numbers reveal that Kevin Evans is the Parapan champ as he defeats Robert Hudson 7-3. Yes, very, very excited. Um, we needed to uh, to win here, and and it and it panned out, and so yeah, dreams come true. Uh -huh. So, what was it that worked so well for you this week? Um, I don't know. Just uh, try, do your best, and and it worked. Uh, My partner from BC, Kevin Evans, gets a gold medal and an Olympic spot. So, uh, we'll be together in London, hopefully, if everything goes well. To the track we go, and Canada was well represented in a number of medal finals on Thursday, including the men's T37 800 meter final on the track at Telmax Athletic Stadium. New Brunswick athlete Shane Dobson in tough against runners from Argentina and Brazil. After the first lap, Dobson is sitting in third place. And then on the drive to finish, it's Dobson finishing in third, good enough for his first Parapan bronze. Men's T38 200 meter final. Kyle Edward Whitehouse from St. Catharines giving everything he's got down the stretch. He's just short of the winner from Brazil. Whitehouse going home with silver. First uh, Pan, Pan Games. Hopefully in Megan 215 for the Toronto one. So hopefully that time gets me there. So I couldn't have beat him. I could have. Probably. But I was, I was so tired at the end. Oh my gosh. But yeah, I'm 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 glad with my time. The women's T38 100 meter final was an emotional race for Windsor native Virginia McLaughlin. She finished the race second behind Jennifer Santos of Brazil. This race for McLaughlin was dedicated to her grandmother. Yeah, it's my grandma's birthday today, and she passed away a couple years ago. So this race was for her. Listening to them cheer when your name is announced and I mean it's not as big as the cheer for Mexico but it's so surreal and I can't wait till they're in Toronto because like that's gonna be home and they're gonna be cheering just as loud if not louder for us. Also from the track I look forward to the Paralympic Games next summer in London. Jason Joseph Dunkerley is expected to be a medal hopeful for Canada. With his guide runner in the men's 1500, Dunkerley finishes behind world record holder Odair Santos of Brazil. But Dunkerley is pleased and is ready to get back to work. Yeah, you know, I, I am pleased for sure. And I'm more than that, I'm just pleased to go home and build on this. You know, we've, uh, we've been training well, so uh, look forward to winter. Just put in a good period of strength building and uh, come back in the outdoor season and you know, run fast, hopefully. So, yeah. One more medal winner to show you from Thursday, Alistair McQueen on the podium with his bronze medal from men's javelin at the Parapan Games. And in sitting volleyball today, for the second straight day Canada took on Brazil, only this time a berth in the gold medal final was on the line. Canada was playing catch up from the very start and wasn't helped by 16 errors in the opening set, losing 25-9. 25-8 was the final in the second set and 25-13 in the deciding set. Canada now plays for bronze against either the US or Colombia. That's the story, day five, Parapan Games, in Guadalajara.